I like to tell people that the law of attraction, getting it to work better in our life, for the most part, is about using uncommon common sense. Meaning that there's a lot of psychological principles, a lot of stress management, stress relief principles that we should apply in our life that we know rationally we should be good at applying, but that in reality we don't apply that well. In my experience, you know, when people talk about manifesting particular things quickly or how, you know, do this one thing and it's going to change your life quickly. When people say stuff like that, nine out of 10 times they're full of shit. And it's more like 98 out of 100 times they're full of shit. And they're probably trying to sell you something. Quick change, rapid, miraculous change can happen by implementing these principles. That is definitely true. But most of the time, it's not going to be quite as miraculous and fast as a lot of people like to say it is. Don't be discouraged if you aren't manifesting something externally as quickly as you would like. The truth is, most people aren't. The vast majority of people are not. If these principles were easy to implement, as easy as most people who teach about them these days says they are, then more people would actually follow these principles and we'd have a very different world. Failure is so, so, so common when it comes to law of attraction. That's what I would like you to understand first of all. People fail. They screw up. They are unable to manifest what they want. And guess what? That's okay. That is okay. And if you fail at something but keep on working with it, you do get better at it. But we're going to flip this whole paradigm on its head anyway. And you're going to see that there really is no need to look at things as judgmentally as labeling them as failures. At least most of the time. We're going to go deep enough inwardly to recognize that there's an abundance and a goodness that you can tap into and are tapping into already. Whether you like it or not, you're tapping into that right now. And we're going to learn how to tap into that more. So when I say we're exploring the law of attraction, I mean that we're exploring these principles in a deep way, in an inner way, where it's hard to even put it into exact words and, or articulate it. Because we are going within and finding out something that is so powerful and at the same time so normal that it can really be life-changing. And the reason that I wanted to do this show is because we just don't recognize the scope of these Law of Attraction teachings and what going inwardly can do for us and how there's so many different teachings and approaches when it comes to manifesting and that we don't have to understand 100% of a teaching in order to get a lot out of it. We can just apply 10% of a good teaching or a great teaching and, and dramatically change our life. But we can do that best, I find, by going within and staying within a lot of the time. In other words, focusing more on feeling good on the inside. So there's so much to explore. And I like many different law of attraction techniques, and we will be exploring some specific techniques. But I want you to know from the outset that what we're, what we're really exploring and investigating is what's inside us. Because if we start to become more aware of how we behave and more aware of this inner world within us, then all the other law of attraction teachings, all the various techniques are going to make more sense and be far easier to apply. In short, if we feel good more often, then all these various methods and approaches to the law of attraction will start working better in our lives. So we're going to get deep and we're going to stay deep. And I think you're going to enjoy doing it.